What's up everybody, this is Dax McClellan and in this video I'm going to give you three tips on how to make your stencils stick better because I feel like one of the biggest fears for a tattoo artist is their stencil wiping away too fast before they're ready for it to wipe away. Am I right? Right. Okay, so here's three tips. Number one, rub down the skin with alcohol first. Okay, this will remove the oils of the skin. Um, it'll dry it out so that the stencil sticks, kind of like, you know, painting a car. You know, if you paint a car or a wall, you gotta clean it first, you know, prime it, and then it will stick a lot better. Okay, step number two, use the proper solution. The proper stencil solution. I personally use Electrum Stencil Primer best stuff out there I highly recommend you go get yourself a bottle uh, Rob Smeeds the owner he's the fucking man so go to electrumstencilprimer.com and get some I guarantee you'll love it number one it lasts longer than any type of stencil primer that's out there I promise you lasts for fucking ever go get yourself a bottle um, it's consistent and it's made specifically for portraits and stuff that needs to stick forever Okay, really, really big stuff. Um, and if you look around at what the big name tattoo artists do, notice most of them are using Electrum. Okay, a really big piece of advice I can give everyone is what I do is follow someone else's success. You know, if somebody else has success with it, follow them. You're going to skip a ton of trial and error. Okay, so the third tip I can give you is let that Electrum stencil primer dry for 20 minutes okay drying for 20 minutes it might take a little bit longer than you're used to but it'll make a tremendous difference on how long it lasts sometimes I have a portrait that still has a, a stencil on it when I'm done and that's okay because you can wipe it off at the end it doesn't stick into the skin but it's better to last longer than shorter um, when you let it dry for 20 minutes, it's going to eliminate the fear of a stencil wiping away, which is why I made this video. Let it stay for 20 minutes. And this will help you eliminate having to bloodline most things. Okay, most of the time it's going to last as long as you need it. So that means you're not going to have to bloodline stuff before it wipes off. Sometimes I tell people, you know, some, some of the artists that I teach how to do portraits, they bloodline a bunch. And in, in a portrait, in realism specifically, you shouldn't be outlining a whole lot because there's really like three lines in a face. So if you're outlining more than three lines, it's gonna look a little cartoonish or a little robotish. I don't recommend that, you know? Use a quality stencil primer and you don't have to do that. You can make it look more realistic. Okay, so to recap, number one, Rub down the skin with alcohol to remove the oils of the skin and the dirt. Number two, use the proper stencil solution. I recommend Electrum, no other ones right now. Number three, let the Electrum dry for 20 minutes. And I promise you're gonna see a big difference. This is gonna eliminate the fear of losing a stencil. Okay, so if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel below, just click the button. And check out tattooingportraits.com. I got a bunch of free resources on my blog for you guys. Make sure you put your name into my newsletter, your name and email into my newsletter. That way you get exclusive email content. And I want you to do one more thing. Comment below this video the frustrations that you've had personally with stencils wiping away and how that made you feel right in the moment when it happened. Okay? I want to hear this. Anyway, done.